Welcome to the Tech Talk Show. The story of civilization is in a sense the story of engineering that it takes long and arduous struggle to make the forces of nature work for man's good. The saying is apt for civil engineering which is one of the oldest branches of engineering. The practices of civil engineering evolved with the civilization of ancient Egypt and Mesopotamia when humans were abandoned and thus concluding to the fact that habitation is the prime requirement the profession of civil engineering is great in itself because there is a fascination of watching a figment of imagination emerge through the aid of science to a concrete plan it is the art of directing great source of power in nature for the use and utilize for the convenience of men according to a report published in the economic times 95 billion square feet is the predicted demand in the real estate and construction industry by 2022 despite such high demand the sector lacks sufficient workforce to meet this demand based on the report titled real estate and construction professionals in india by 2020 by the royal institution of chartered surveyors there is a demand supply gap ranging between 82 and 86% of skilled civil engineers architects and others this means our country needs approximately 4 million skilled civil engineers until next year these statistics makes clear that there is a massive demand for these professionals in the near future thus we can say that a plethora of opportunities awaits skilled professionals from civil engineering in the future and the scope of civil engineering is huge as the constantly changing work environment requires creativity adaptability good problem solving skills and ability to think on one's feet therefore the domain of civil engineering becomes very challenging there is no dull moment for an engineer as they are constantly busy with the vast number of different designs for buildings bridges and other structures whether it's bringing a drawing on paper to life or working out how to thread a tunnel through the congested ground below the feet the civil engineering industry is built on team spirit and collaboration and it also shows how a civil engineer have to think outside the box to solve a wide range of challenges it is the spirit of civil engineer who mends the crooked roads with their genius and leave a legacy behind To explore more about the civil engineering domain today we have professor dr shalin tiwari hod civil engineering and ms vinita pal assistant professor civil engineering department kit group of institutions welcome to the show sir so today we are here to discuss the future perspective of civil engineering branch career opportunities and its placement scenario here we go sir First, let us know what is the scope of civil engineering for students. Civil engineering is one of the most practiced and the oldest branch among all the disciplines of engineering. Looking into the present scenario of developing world, it has become one of the most important and relevant disciplines to address the need of the hour. Graduating as civil engineers, what are the placement scenario for students in India? A civil engineering graduate has job opportunities in planning, designing, constructing, maintaining and supervising infrastructures which include facilities essential to modern life like residential and commercial buildings, highways, railways, ports and waterways, bridges and tunnels, schools, hospitals, other buildings, sewage systems and water treatment facilities etc. So sir in continuation with this now please tell how can recession impact civil engineering branch There is no recession in construction industry in fact it is a very short temporary phase where things are appearing not so bright for a civil engineer Owing to the tremendous growth potential in the infrastructure sector in India and abroad the demand of civil engineers has been on the rise even in the union budget 2020 unveiled that rupees 100 lakh crore shall be invested only in infrastructure over the next 5 years on the separate allocation to the transportation sector road transport and the highways minister has said that it has given a massive boost to investment in infrastructure building highways railways airports ports and waterways which in turn would help 
revive industrial production and generate employment opportunities, creating more than 2 crore jobs. Sir, there is a misconception that opting civil engineering is the only option left when they do not have any other branch to choose. Throw some light over it, sir. There is nothing like this, sir. Every branch of engineering is unique in its domain with unique job prospects and career opportunities. In fact, in the present scenario, there are large number of career options which are open for all branches of engineering. Engineering graduates from, from one branch are pursuing very successful career in the IT sector companies. In fact, the core branch engineering graduates have advantage of having knowledge of two domains, that is one of their core branch and the other related to IT domain. So since majority of clientele of IT sector companies are from core engineering areas. So these IT sector companies are recruiting graduates of core branches too in a large number. Talking about the civil engineering, we all know that the construction industry is a major contributor towards the India's GDP, both directly and indirectly. It employs 33 million people and any improvements in the construction sector affect the several associated industries such as cement, steel, technology, skill enhancement, services industry, etc. So, in my opinion, civil engineering should be the first choice for the students who have made up their mind to choose engineering as a stream of their higher education. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. So ma'am, uh, you please let us know what are the different tools that can make students industry ready. Before that, it is imperative to understand that civil engineering is a broad discipline. It ranges from design to execution, scheduling and planning, contracts and logistic management. And there are different tools available for all of these purposes. If we discuss about the tools, we must understand that civil engineering possesses further sub-classification or subdivision in itself like structural engineering, geotechnical engineering, transportation engineering, water resource engineering and environmental engineering. And for all of these, we do have softwares like if we talk about structural engineering, it do have StatPro, ETAPS, ENSYS, Bacchus and if we move on towards geotechnical engineering, we have Plexus and Geo5. Talking about water resources and environmental engineering, we have water gems and sewer gems. If we move towards solving the problems of surveying and geomatics, we have uh, GIS systems. And then lastly, we have transportation engineering wherein we can work with the problems on MIDAS and MX road. So above all, civil engineering requires diverse skill sets, which in turn demands analytical potential. Okay ma'am, so do you feel that there is any place for creativity in this particular stream? Uh, before we begin with, let's throw some light on scenario of global construction market. According to the report of McKinsey, global construction industry is a 10.6 trillion dollar industry annually, which bleeds about 10 to 30 percent owing to mismanagement, wastage and inefficiency. The industry lost $1.6 trillion in the year 2019, which is currently equal to the value of economy of Canada. Now you can see when the efficacies are so magnificent, there is no better proof of the fact that the industry lacks creativity and innovation, whereas the digital population will increase by 70% by 2030. The current penetration of management software and technology in the industries is about 2%. So it becomes necessary for our engineers to equip themselves to solve the problem of industries creatively. Before we talk about creativity, let's talk about the employment opportunities which might emerge out of creativity. So now you can see the repeated organizations like Recover, Range, Fallen Brick, Reconstruct, Plan Grid, Econex, and currently you can see LNT have also launched an industry that is LNT Next, which are employing civil engineers for the roles like customer success analysis, product design, implementation specialist, which does not require any specialized knowledge of the IT domain. 
Fine ma'am. As a person, if I look into civil engineering, I believe that uh, it's all about working on construction sites. What is your opinion? Uh, so sir, a civil engineering is not at all about brick, steel and mortar. There are enormous possibilities and problems in the functional areas of industries. For example, there are million dollar organizations based entirely on employee health and safety management, plant and assist management, which is about machinery, vendor management, that is document management and project management. Even organizations like SAP are trying to venture into the field of this, otherwise overlooked by the curriculum and students. In the Indian context, reputed organizations like LNT have come up with their own ventures, like I have said, LNT Next, to build digital solutions for the construction industries and have immense employment potential. So, the need of the R is that students must make themselves aware of the problems faced by the industries and invest their time and energy in designing a solution for them. And I am sure if they do not back a job, they will definitely create many for others. Now I have a question floating in my mind that uh, what is the difference between a civil engineer and an architect? Uh, sir, if we see an architect is like a visionary whose responsibility is to ensure that the functional as well as aesthetic requirement of any built environment is met. Which means he or she is responsible for preparing or drafting the general layout and appearance of the built environment. Whereas the responsibility of a civil engineer is to understand the feasibility of the proposed design and ensure its safe and efficient execution. So, a civil engineer's responsibility is to technically analyze all the elements of proposed design of the structure and ensure its timely completion within budgets. Thanks a lot ma'am for sharing your wonderful insights on civil engineering domain. Thank you so much. I hope the student must have got to learn a lot of new things that would surely help them in choosing their career path and the show must have answered many of their questions related to career options in civil engineering. Now for students, if you still have any question, you can write the question in the comment box. We would surely connect to you. We will come up with more such topics and videos. So stay tuned for more such videos.